Before we go on into the video, if you guys want to win a copy of FIFA 18 on any console of your choice, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel if you're on your own here. Do those three things, that'll enter you into the giveaway. I'll be contacting the winner in a month's time. Best of luck, and let's go on into the video. Hey guys, e 2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys five hidden details in FIFA 18 that you guys may not know about. We've got new celebrations, new skill moves, and loads and loads of little features and details that a lot of you guys may not have noticed from the previous two trailers EA have released. Before we go into the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to both Ellie960 and also Daily Trading Tips, as both of those YouTubers have already done videos on some hidden secrets in FIFA 18, however those with the previous trailer, rather than the one that's just been released, and that's got loads and loads of little details in that a lot of you guys may not have realised, but I will leave both of their videos down below in the description so you guys can go and check theirs out as well, as they may have some things I've not got in this video, and vice versa, I may have some things that they don't have in theirs. Without further ado, let's go on into the video. First up, we've got some new skill moves and also a couple of new gameplay features. Features. So first up we've got this brand new touch system where you can actually take down your first touch in a specific direction to move instantly in the direction you want. We've also got a few new skill moves, we've got the Cruyff turn, a couple of roulettes, a new drag back and also as you guys can see here there's a couple of new crosses. The first one is a whipped cross and you guys can see here the cross is whipped into Rashford and something else I actually noticed here is Carvajal tries to win the ball in the air with his foot and that's an animation we haven't had on previous FIFA's, the ability to compete for high aerial balls with your feet and that's really useful in those types of situations situations there, if a cross is coming in, you can't really head the ball backwards, so you can actually kick the ball backwards and scoop it backwards, that's a really useful new feature right there. And you guys can see we've got a few little bits of information here, this was found on EA's website, and this covers the new types of crosses, so we actually have a couple of new systems, we've got whip to the spot, arching deliveries, and also ping crosses to the back post, and there's also a few new animations for finishing and also for heading, but you guys can see a few new skills in the background, we've got the Cruyff turn, that looks like you've got more, a lot more control over it rather than just doing a normal kind of backwards fake shot which people have done on previous FIFAs. Now we actually have the specific skill, the Cruyff turn, which is a very, very famous, one of the most iconic and famous skills in football, so that's definitely a cool one to have. There's also a new drag back with a bit of a ruler added into it, which is something new. I've not seen anyone do that in real life, but it's a cool new skill move. And there's also a new variant of the roulette, which we have seen Ronaldo perform in both trailers. Next up is the brand new crowds and the better atmosphere. I'm sure all of you guys will have seen in the trailer how much better the crowds look, but there's actually quite a few little details that I'll show you guys in just a minute that I found over on EA's website. And there's loads of stuff that you don't actually see in the trailer that are going to actually be released in the full game. So, I mean, firstly, you guys can see just how good the actual atmosphere looks, just how good the crowd looks, how good the stadium looks, and how much more realistic it is, but I'm sure you guys have already seen this in the trailer, and this isn't hidden, but what you guys will see in just a minute is something I'm sure a lot of you guys will have missed out on and won't have already seen. So, as you guys can see right here, immersive atmospheres, we've now got authentic sun positions, cinematic atmosphere grading, signature pitch side fixtures, on-side on-site debris, so that's going to be maybe bottles and bits of rubbish thrown onto the pitch, club and stadium specific banners, adaptive commentary and changes in pitch quality as the game goes on. So we've got some new things there and also you can interact with the fans while celebrating. So loads and loads of new little details there. I'm sure loads of you won't already have realised that, but that's going to make the atmosphere in the game is just so much better. It's going to make it more immersive and more realistic. We've also got a multitude of different celebrations which are going to be added into the game. You guys can see a couple of them here and then I'm going to freeze frame and show you guys a few screens shots of them in just a minute but we actually have quite a few new celebrations some of these only shown for a couple of seconds if that in the trailer so you guys may have missed out on them and there's actually quite a few really cool looking new ones which I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna like using on the next FIFA so first up, we've got the mannequin challenge this looks really cool Vardy's doing it right here I think England did it a couple of months ago and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool there we've also got Ronaldo's celebration that he did against Atletico Madrid a couple of months ago as well so quite a cool celebration there to do in front of the camera there's also this celebration here which is kind of like the aeroplane but it's got a lot of different people doing it so you can see Matuidi and his PSG teammates doing it here. Also Dybala's signature celebration there, I'm not too sure what it's called but that's something we are going to see in FIFA 18. There's also this brand new celebration here from Griezmann, I've never seen anyone do this before, it must be a celebration Griezmann has done in the past, something like that but uh, yeah that's a new celebration there, pointing to the hand and also as you guys can see I did talk about this just a minute ago, you can now interact with the fans so you can run into the crowd, you can celebrate with the fans and that's a really cool new feature. Next up is a tiny, tiny detail that I'm sure hardly any of you will have realised, but le 96 c actually noticed this, and he's the first person I've actually seen who found this, and I eventually saw, after looking through the gameplay a lot and just going through frame by frame, you can see right here, Fabregas turns his back 
to Ronaldo, and you can see him communicating with Courtois, who's moving the ball about, pointing where he wants it to go, and I think this could be a revamped goalkeeper or maybe defending set-pieces system, which we could see on FIFA 18. So, potentially the goalkeepers could have more control, maybe there could be a new AI system with the goalkeepers, or it could be a new way of defending set-pieces. We had revamped set-pieces with corners and free kicks, and also penalties on FIFA 17, so maybe there's going to be a new system for actually defending corners, defending free kicks, and all those things like that on FIFA 18, with more control with the keeper, so it's going to be harder to actually score those goals because on FIFA 17 everyone just has the same wall really no one really moves the wall about and you just go for a shot and try and get it over the wall whereas maybe on FIFA 18 you'll be able to move the wall where you want select the people you want in the wall select the number of people in the wall you may have a lot more control over how you actually defend set pieces also you could set up how you defend corners and maybe put specific people in different positions maybe on the post on the line or defending against specific attackers in your penalty area the final detail is the fact that you can get FIFA 18 on both Xbox 360 and PS3 I'm surprised not many people know about this, but I asked on Twitter whether you guys knew if you can actually get this on Xbox 360 or PS3, and the majority of my viewers who play on the old gen consoles didn't actually know you could get this, and they were wondering whether they'd actually have to upgrade to a new console to be able to play the new FIFA, but it turns out you can actually get FIFA 18 on 360 and on PS3. It's called the Legacy Edition. I think it's going to be a very minimalistic version, though, of the game. With FIFA 17 on Xbox 360 and PS3, they didn't get the journey, and I think a lot of the new features including the journey as well won't be carried on to this Xbox 360 and PS3 version it'll probably be a very stripped down and basic version of the game that's going to be very very similar to FIFA 16 and FIFA 17 so I think if you are still playing on an old gen console and you do maybe have a birthday coming up it may be a good time to actually get a next gen console because you really are missing out some of the features on Xbox One and PS4 are just so so good and you're missing out if you don't have them on the old gen you're not getting the full FIFA 17 or FIFA 18 experience so you can get it on the old gen console but bear in mind it is going to be a very minimalistic and downscale version. There we go guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And if there is anything you think I have missed out on, leave a comment down below. I may be able to do a part two to this video. Also, sorry if I sounded weird in comparison to my normal videos. That's because I was at the dentist a couple of days ago and actually have stitches along the top of my mouth in my gum, which is quite painful. And that's why I probably sound a little bit weird in comparison to my normal videos. But hopefully it wasn't too annoying and I should be back to normal. I should sound normal within the next couple of days. But if you guys did enjoy, leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you guys in the next video take care